everyone, welcome back to What's Sewing On. Today I'm going to be making a really simple skirt. Initially, I wanted to make this bigger costume for this specific fabric, but this costume does require a skirt, so I think I'm gonna break it up because I actually want this skirt now. I wanna wear it for spring, it's going to be great for fall, so I might as well just get it out of the way now, and I'm really excited to have it. Last week I put out this giant pattern haul, and I found this pattern by Simplicity 6460. I absolutely love the skirt. It's so big. It's so fluffy. It's exactly what I want. I'm going to be making it really simple though. I'm not going to be adding the suspenders. I'm not going to be doing pockets. It's just going to be the skirt. Eventually I do want to make the petticoat for it, but for now, just the skirt. So I got this fabric forever ago in a fabric haul, one of my first ones. I think I only paid $5.99 for all of this fabric and I thought it was just one big piece. But when I went to go put it in the wash to get it all cleaned up for this project, I realized it's actually split up in two pieces, which is completely fine because again, there's a lot there. There's enough for the skirt and there's going to be plenty for the top portion. So I am super happy with this fabric and I've been just holding on to it. So today is the day I'm finally going to use it. So let's show you the fabric and get cutting. You just had a big drink. You're all, oh, you're all wet. <laughs> How's your day? I see your ear was in your water. That's fun. How's that? <laughs> you can see now. <laughs> Look at that boy. Look at that handsome boy. He's so handsome. <laughs> Did you not like what you looked like? <laughs> Just, yeah, use me as a head scratch. <laughs> Help me. Progress update. So I've went around on all five pieces of the skirt and I've gathered the top sections. And then on the two back sections, I've already gone ahead and just surged it because now I have to do the zipper. So here is my dilemma. First off, I don't have any really light brown thread that matches this. So this is almost like a gold dark tan. And then I went with like a darker ivory, almost like a slate stone color, a light color. You can see it up here. It seems to be okay. And you know what? If I'm able to make everything the way it should be, you shouldn't be able to see any stitch lines anyways. That being said, in Steph fashion, I don't have any zippers. The only zippers I have are white, this ivory color, and a dark brown, probably black too. My problem with the ones I have, and because we're still in lockdown, we can't go out and physically find one, even though it's only curbside pickup, I believe, and without being able to see it, I don't know if it's gonna match, so I don't wanna order it without seeing it first. The brown seems like it would be okay. The only thing with the brown is it's not an invisible zipper. With the ivory, is actually a long dress one. So I would cut it to the right size and it is an invisible zipper. I'm kind of leading towards this one because I'm used to invisible zippers and I'm used to using that attachment on my machine. So I feel like this one might be the best. Both of them are a very contrasting color to the skirt. So either you're gonna see the dark brown or you're gonna see the light ivory. So I'm just gonna try not to see either of them and I think I'm going to go with the ivory. My other thing is because I don't have the right thread and I don't have anybody home to actually tell me what color my other thread is. So I can't, I went with this one because I know what color it is. I don't want to make stitch lines around the zipper so you can see that. So what I think I want to do is put the back pieces of skirt 
together to where it needs to go. And instead of doing like the instructions say, which is baste it together and then you basically align these together and then you stitch on the outside and then you cut into it, you're going to see the stitch line on the outside of the skirt. I don't want that. So I wanna do that method, which I have done before, where basically you just measure it up with your 5 8 line and then you sew it open and then you flip it in. So then there's going to be no stitch line and it's attached that way. Hopefully that will be fine. This whole skirt is just giving me the biggest internal struggle because I really just want buttons down the front, but I have a skirt that has buttons down the front and I really wanted this one to just be plain. I wanted to add pockets to it, but again, I don't really want pockets in it. For some reason, I kind of just want it just a plain skirt, no pockets, no buttons. And now I'm literally just wasting time because I hate doing zippers. <sighs> but I think I'm going to go with the ivory one. Worst case scenario, I take it out and then I go with the dark brown one. So I think what I'm going to do to start it off is I'm going to base together both of the edges, just enough for where I'm going to be putting my zipper. Then I'm going to press it, use the clapper to make sure I get a really hard seam line, take out the basting stitch, and then I'm going to put the zipper on and then sew the rest of the skirt after. Let's try that. First side is on and I am not gonna lie, I ripped this off five times. <laughs> Let's see how many it takes for the next side. Mariah, Mariah, you set my heart on fire. It's you I most desire of all the gals around. Oh Mariah, Raya, Raya, if you love I'll never die for there's not a higher flyer. First try, I ended up stitching together the bottom of the skirt and I've just pressed everything flat. I'm happy with the way the zipper looks. I'm a little worried that, you know, if it pulls, you're going to be seeing it, which I'm now understanding that's why they have that top stitch. But I really don't want the top stitch. And I'm also thinking this is like a really flowy skirt. So I really don't think there's really going to be much opportunity for it to do this, I hope. So I'm just not going to do the top stitch. I'm hoping maybe I can go back in later if I have to to do it, but I'm happy with this for now. So now I'm going to go and stitch together, I guess, the whole skirt and then start gathering. London dropped its dignity. Yeah. So has France and Germany. Yeah. All hands are dancing to a raggedy melody full of originality. Sing it, the folk who live in sunny Spain it out, it out. dance to a strain yeah. they call the Spanish tango. Dukes and lords, the Russian czars, men. I really hope that this gathers nicely. <laughs> I really wish I knew what this fabric was. Not super thin. Well, no going back. Oh no. All good. No! Shoot. Do I have to regather this? Go to the next section for now. Ugh! Why are you doing that? It's just gonna be a nice easy skirt. I'm gonna have to redo the front. Oh my freaking god. Okay. Redoing the whole front. Guess I'll have to do it in sections. Grr. So it worked. I have the gathers all in. I have the waistband half on. So now all I have to do is 
flip it over, slip stitch it all around on the inside, and then I have the hem. That waist gathering took way longer than I thought. Putting the zipper on took way longer than I thought. It was still a one day project, so I'm happy about that. But I'm really hoping I end up liking this skirt because there's a lot of fabric here. I really wish I knew what this material was. On the inside, it almost feels like flannel, but I can't normally touch flannel. I can't stand the feeling of it. And this is a really softer, but I can touch it. So, but then the outside is almost like a pant, kind of canvassy, but like very soft. I don't know. I have to go try it on before I end up hemming it because if it is too, then I might just make it just below my knee. I don't know. I really hope it's not because that's a lot of fabric to cut off just for that. But it's almost done. I'm just gonna go and do the hem and then slip stitch the waistband and we will have a reveal tomorrow. lot of skirt here which is completely my fault because technically the pattern would have been big enough for me but I wanted it to be fuller so I added quite a few inches to each panels just to give it the more fullness which probably was the reason that it hurt me in the end to gather because the pattern probably would have told me maybe to section it or maybe it would have been split up into smaller panels oh well it ended up working out. I did have to fight with the gathers quite a bit, but everything else was really easy. Skirts are just the most beginner friendly project for the most parts, especially ones like this. It's just, you know, gathering the top, sewing down the side panels, hemming, and then putting on a waistband. It was super easy. I was able to do it in just a few hours. So I'm really happy I have it. It's one of those skirts that I've seen on Pinterest, I've seen on Instagram, and I've always loved them and I've always wanted them. So I'm really happy I was able to make one myself and I can really see it working for different periods. If I'm doing some costuming, if I wanna make it more vintage, even if I wanna bring it in my day to day, I feel like it's gonna be a really universal piece. So I'm so happy I have it. I can't wait to wear it. It's going to be a skirt that I can wear for the next few weeks because it's been kind of a cooler spring and I'll definitely be able to wear it in the fall. The only problem I see is again that flannelly feeling underneath. I don't know what that's going to be like if I wear tights or nylons underneath. I feel like that's going to be a friction nightmare and it's just going to be a lot of static, but we'll have to, you know, deal with that in the fall when that happens. Again, if I do end up making that petticoat soon or at least make it in the fall, that will definitely help with the friction or it could make it worse. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and I hope you subscribe. I will see everybody on Monday for my next video. Oh, watch your noggin. I know, I don't like that one either. We'll get you your haircut soon, eh? It's getting warm. It's finally getting warm. We're done fourth winter of Canada. <coughs>
I know it's near the tripod and you're afraid of the tripod, but just try to get it. You can do it. I believe in you. Put your ball. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Up you go. Ugh. Don't spill. Move. Ruby. There you go. Good job. Yes. You beat the tripod. Why are you being such a big suck? Is it because it's Mother's Day and you're saying Happy Mother's Day? <laughs>